getting the money mindset is the most important part of getting rich and beginning your entrepreneurship career and it's really important for you to know the money mindset in this video i'm going to show you valuable tips that i learned along the way of my entrepreneurship career and i know a lot of people will be telling me you're only 15 what can you tell me and i'm telling you i have learned a lot and i'm not telling that i've learned everything in this world and that i am already educated i'm just telling you what i have learned along my way of getting the money mindset of getting of being a entrepreneur and I know I haven't learned everything in the whole world because there's unlimited information that you can learn but I am telling you what I have learned and along the way I'm still learning so the first and the most important tip and the first step is educating yourself so it's very important for you to learn about finance budgeting saving investing for specific purchase and so on it's important for you to read to read books like these for example rich dad and poor dad or thing and grow rich from napoleon hill i'm gonna put a link down below for books that I suggest you reading you can watch as well my YouTube videos where I'm helping you get the money mindset and it's the most valuable tip but there's ton of valuable tips so let's let me tell you about them too determine what you want to achieve financially and whether it's saving for specific purchase or building an emergency fund or it could be as well investing in the future setting clear goals we really set you direction and motivation for it and it's really important for you to get uh, this financial goals uh, you can write them down below you can use an apps as well so it's really important to set financial goals so number three is save or invest and i'm just gonna tell you in a bit of shortcut about this topic but i will make a specific video about it in the next in the following weeks you need to develop a investing or saving uh mindset early in early stages whether it's 14 15 or if you didn't learn it you can use this in the age of 20 30 40 50 even 80 it's never too late to start investing at the end of every single week uh, the money i have made for example from my from my online courses my youtube channel for example or my freelancing career i invest 70 percent of everything i make and i can do everything with the other 30 percent for example i can even go buy some my clothes for me or i can buy video games i do not care what you're going to do with the 30 percent for example if you make 100 bucks and you invest 70 percent so basically you invest 70 bucks i don't get i don't care what are you going to do with the 30 bucks 30 euros or some or lever or lever you can do whatever you want with it i don't care what you can buy with it but it's important for you to invest or save those 70 percent and i'm not talking i'm not talking about saving or investing only 70 percent if you don't make that much and but it's important for you to invest half of the money you make or more so it's really important about that and as i already said i'm gonna publish in the following weeks a video specifically for this topic so the next step is very important for the people above the age of 18 and i and i read a special book which uh, unfortunately i don't have in me right now but it's important and most importantly i'm telling you the most important thing that you need to do is get out of credit debt so if you're for example in credit debt forget all the things i said about investing about uh getting the those money mindset and firstly you need to do is get out of debt so the next step and my highlight for this video is going to be develop entrepreneur skills uh whether it's 
side hustle, whether it's online business, whether it's e-commerce, dropshipping, it doesn't matter. You need to find a way to make money and uh, if you're going to the job, it's important for you to get a side hustle and make some money from it so then you can develop it into an online business and you can make it your main job. If you're going to 9 to 5, it doesn't matter on what thing you're going, if you're going on a side job, part-time job, whether it's working on McDonald's or Burger King or I don't know, construction work, as my friend is doing it it's really important for you to get a side hustle and then develop it as a online business so the next tip is just a short tip but you need to distinguish between wants and needs delay gratification by avoiding impulsive purchases and saving up for what you truly value this habit will help you make smarter financial decisions so it's really important it's just a short tip so the next and it's really important to the next step is you need to surround yourself with positive people and with money mindset people don't surround yourself with people oh i'm gonna i'm gonna play league of legends i'm gonna play minecraft yay i'm gonna play csgo no it's really important to surround yourself with people that you want to become for example if you want to become uh, a rich person surround yourself with rich people who are already rich and you going to learn from them and it's really important to surround yourself with you can seek for guidance from uh, mentors or for example you can join communities with money mindset people or people that are focused on personal finance so it's important for you to learn from your mistakes and you need to understand that accept your financial mistakes and do you need to understand that th that those things happen to every single person whether even the rich make mistakes i make mistakes as well but i learn from my mistakes and that's really important you need to look at your mistakes as uh, learning opportunities uh, analyze what went wrong and how you can avoid making the same mistakes again it's important Th those tips are important and the number one tip and the most important tip i'm gonna give you is above all you need to be patient and have persistent developing a strong money mindset it's really really hard thing to develop and it takes time and effort stay focused on your goals and one important thing that i have learned as well is focus on the short term goals whether it's a daily goal you achieved it's really going to give you a good motivation so you can stay motivated to the long-term goals be patient with the process and continue to educate yourself by reading books or watching my youtube channel and focus yourself on the personal on the personal finance that wraps up for today's video i hope you like it and remember to stay inspired and to keep hustling peace